This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so hi dear SQL folks. Today I want to show you how to shrink the database. Okay, suppose if you have a database and if you have a free space on the database. Okay, so if you have a free space means how we will get a free space in the database. Huh? So team, when you do any big tables, if you truncate it uh, or delete some data or you drop the tables, maybe some free space left in the databases, okay? Or data, uh, data pages, okay? MDF, NDF files. So you might have some free space. That you can check in the database. Huh? So you can see in the properties also, but properties of the database, it won't show exactly the free space, how much you have. Uh, you can check in the database. So in the database side, if you see directly like this also, see it's showing only 0% free space uh, uh, in the database left. See, the space is occupied already by the database files today. Okay, so that's why it's not showing the how much of free space you can recline, you can give it back to the operating system, or you can give, you can release the space from the data file that won't show it here. Okay, so see if you want to, you can sync the database something like this, then it will release the space. If you have a space in the database, okay, free space in the database, if you have any, that will release the free space, but this will take a lot of time. Okay. This is a bad approach team, shrinking old databases at a time. Huh? So I have seen uh, while working uh, with the multiple clients and all, you know, so if they have free space and all, my colleagues, they use it to shrink the database that way. But that will take a lot of time, like one or two days, three days also. But while shrinking, that consumes a lot of CPU memory and IoT. Okay, never do like this. Huh? I will tell you the simple approach, okay? Before shrinking the database, uh, the simple approach. So let's see how much free space this database is having, okay? So how are you gonna check uh, how much free space this database is having is, you can check in the file wise, okay? So see, the database, the database means it contains data files and log files, okay? So log file, automatically it releases the free space automatically it releases the free space when when you perform the log backups okay so production database we usually keep it in full recovery model huh? and we use to take the full backup differential backup log backups right when you are performing log backups team automatically the whatever the free space you know the computed, the computed transactions will be uh, moved to the data files and uh, the free space uh, flushed it out from the log file, okay, when you are performing the log backups. But what about the data files? Data files, uh, when you take a full backup differential log backup team, so the space, uh, you cannot claim it back, okay? You cannot release it. So, um, see that space, how, any anyhow, we will, uh, See that one. Uh, see here. I want to see the how much free space left in the uh, database or files. See, so we have a data a primary file group, and see here, like almost 92% available free space. Okay, this file team. See, if you have a file wise, uh, see, you, we have multiple files team, multiple files and file groups. Okay, so team. Uh, like you have a very big terabyte databases, terabyte database if you have, okay? We use it to keep uh, different tables in different different file groups. Uh, people also use it to create a partitioning on the tables, okay? If you truncate any older partition, if you truncate only that partition, uh, only wherever that partition data, uh, data available, uh, uh, on that data file, okay, only that file you can shrink it. That is, uh, a, it takes a microsecond time to release the free space, okay. So you can shrink it uh, uh, if you have multiple file groups, okay. 
and the table you have a partitioning but the tables which you do not have partitioning huh? the tables which you do not have partitioning the table is very big that data scattered across the all the files see this is the only primary file group having multiple files how are you going to shrink us huh? these many files one by one relate off to me right so that's why sir you can do entire database see if you are very sure your table like you can check it where the clustered index stored uh, cluster index stored in so and so file group only that file group files you can shrink it you don't need to shrink entire database you don't know like uh, the table uh, not in separate file group that is stored in the primary but fi primary file group having the lot of tables along with the the table which you have free space uh, then what you can do you can do anything <laughs> the only way is you need to shrink the entire database then you can release this free space okay so here i can also um, release the free space in the, through data file also but team say uh, that this table this data the free space having in all files so uh, shrinking a file shrinking database it's same yes or no because i don't have multiple file groups here okay so let's see how are you going to uh, shrink the database see this is wrong way team i am again again i am telling you so this is the wrong way shrinking the database huh? if it is like uh, azure sql db managed instance or ias or on premise okay you have to follow how to shrink the database not this way so the way is let me tell you okay um, i have a document team so like this you can do huh? so this is the script so we have a free space uh, in the stack overflow right so just come here and uh, paste here just uh, comment it because this won't work in this will work but uh, it may take 2 3 days okay uh, even after 2 3 days also no guarantee okay 50 50 chances huh? so that's why team if you do this way okay this won't take time huh? and you will definitely sure if you have a free space definitely that will release the free space see how i am doing gradually releasing the free space okay see dbcc shrink database uh, here uh, uh, the name you can use here and uh, uh, here target percentage okay so the target percentage here means uh, uh, if you see here okay so the percentage of free space that you want to left in the database file after shrink operation completes huh? so team suppose i have a 100% sorry i have a 100 gb free space in the database okay suppose this database okay i have 100 gb free space not entire database size team maybe entire database size uh, you may have 500 gb huh? on the 500 gb you have a free space of 100 gb okay so if i run this what will happen huh? in 100 gb in 100 gb of free space it releases only 10 percent space okay so if you run this team suppose if you have a 100 gb free space okay 100 gb free space in the database okay after running this team what will happen so it keeps the file with 90 percent space 90 percent of free space okay so 90 percent it keeps with uh, with this database and remaining 10 gb 10 gb it, it get released okay so if i explained you through the diagram let me explain team let me take a paint so yeah see i have a database size let me take this let me take a rectangle okay so let me take a rectangle this is a database okay so we have a free space hmm? 
um, we have a 10 GB, sorry, 100 GB free space. This is okay. So this is a 100 GB free space. Free space. Okay. So 100 GB free space. So if you run this team, if you run this command, what will happen? So this 100 GB, only 10 GB. Okay. So this 10 GB released. Okay. So this marked 10 GB released. That means the database size become the how much? Huh? So the database size become this much, like this. Okay. It releases. Okay. So we use a 90% means it keeps 90% free space and releases 10%. See, this free space you can see in the drive after running that. See what we are doing again. Again, we are doing 80. Huh? So here, within this space, huh? whatever left to 90 GB, right? After syncing, in this 90 GB, it, it keeps 80%. It keeps 80% of free space and remaining 20%. Say 90 GB, how much? 20%? Uh, so 18, 18 GB, it get released. See, this again, 80 GB, it get released. Uh, so see, the next point, uh, this space will get released. See, like this, gradually, 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 we will release all the entire free space from the database. Okay. So see, so here we are telling to Microsoft uh, uh, SQL, SQL Server Engine that boss keep 90% free space, remaining 10% leave. So keep 80% leave, keep 70% leave. See last, we are keeping only 10% of free space in the database. Okay, so run this command now. Hmm? Let's see uh, the, spirit, the free space left it or not from the database. Okay, so if you see here team, like I have only one drive, this is my personal machine. So see, currently occupying 174 GB of free space. Sorry, free, free space in the drive. Okay, so if I shrink this, definitely it should show more space, more free space. Huh? Let me do it team now. Yeah. Okay, so let it run. Like if you want to monitor this, you can also monitor team whether this creating any blocking or not. Like my favorite command is uh, who is active command team. So here I can check whether this creates any blocking or not. Huh? So how much uh, CPU, huh? mm, like huh? so other things you can check it and percentage also you can check, you can see. Okay. So this one, the percentage it is showing 90%, 56% is completed. Like this, you can monitor. So, team, uh, please use SP underscore who is active. If you are not uh, uh, using this, uh, not started it using this, you can start uh, using this who is active. Okay. So, I have a YouTube channel also, team. Like, if you want, uh, uh, you can also check who is active command, how you know, that helps you in real time. Okay. So you can resolve a lot of issues by using of SP underscore who is active. Okay. So this is my YouTube channel, the uh, next generation SQL DBA. Okay. So he here we have like uh, almost uh, 62 videos are there. You can subscribe this channel and uh, go through uh, short and sweet videos and uh, yeah, expertise and the SQL Server DBA. Hmm? Yeah. Coming back to so is it done? Yeah, it's done, team. So, okay. See whether the space is uh, released or not. Just refresh it, team. Yeah, 175. So, team, this is a very big size database. So, uh, so I have just created only a small size database, team. Okay. Uh, by, uh, let me take this, copy. Yeah, so this is the data team. If I, let's let's truncate this and run the command again so that it will release some more free space. Okay, so truncate table. Not only truncate team, you, even if you partially delete the data, 
So you will have a free space in the database left. Okay. So you can also delete and release that free space. How much uh, after deletion, how much free space that also you can claim it back by shrinking the database. Uh, so here, uh, uh, see how much the space here team that the database is having like uh, so KB, right? So this is MB. If you three digits like to 382, 92 MB and if you release three more, that's a 38 GB. Okay, this table itself having the 38 GB, almost more than 35 team. Say 1024 uh, equal to MB equal to 1 GB, right? Yeah. So let me truncate this first. Yeah, it's done. So now the see the space, it's zero. Okay. But if you see the space here, if it is released, that's fine team. If it is not released, then go and shrink it. Okay. Yeah, see, again shrink it team. Let's see now. Okay, so while running, just take it in. Uh, at least uh, first if you, five to ten minutes, just you need to monitor team because shrink operation consumes a lot of CPU. Just refresh. Yeah, see, oh my God, 200 GB. Uh, 175 to 200 GB, almost 25 GB. Uh, you got it, right? Okay. Again, run it team. This time, it is super fast. Uh, but if you have any free space left in the, still in the database, then that will be released. See team? Okay. See? 207 GB free space. Now. Okay. So, like this, you can shrink the database team. See how uh, this super fast team. Like if you shrink the database, entire database, this may take <laughs> one or two days also. Okay, always do this way, team, especially for Azure SQL databases. Okay, mostly in on premise IAS. Huh? So, won't take time because uh, your own drive you will have, you can monitor. But for Azure SQL DB related or managed instance, okay, you have to sync it like this so that uh, you can release the free space. Uh, if possible, you can reduce the pricing tires also. Sometimes uh, because of the no size, people use it to people use it to scale up the database. They may go to uh, uh, increase the pricing tire. Okay, that costs to the database. Okay, so depend on the database size, you can keep it in the right pricing tire, and you can uh, uh, decrease the price for the database. Uh, actually occurred in the cloud cloud model yeah this conference will now be recorded yeah so team uh, this video i am uploading into this uh, youtube channel so next generation sql dba uh, and also the command and all okay i will keep in the description team. okay so you can take it and keep it with you and also, team, like uh, if you need any help and support, okay, uh, please reach me. If you have any SQL Server uh, doubts and clarifications, or if you stuck with any performance uh, uh, issues, okay, please reach me, team. Like uh, my number also, I think uh, uh, I kept here. You can WhatsApp me. Huh? Thank you, team. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and please keep supporting me. Thank you, and I will upload uh, more videos. Uh, on this YouTube channel. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for watching again. Have a nice day.